Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate our eighth grade class commencing on to high school. My name is Jim Winslow, and I am the assistant principal for the eighth grade. I would like to present to you our newest high schoolers, the class of 2027. So before we get started, I want to thank a handful of people for helping this event happen. This event would not be possible without Matt Eaton and Huzzy Theater's stage crew, Ron Delisle and Noble's custodial staff, Kim Dabrio, Allison Guy, Shelley LaJoy, Nicole Ivey, Allison Kearney, and AJ Dufort. This event would also not be possible if it wasn't for all the hard work and dedication our class of 2027 displayed this year. Throughout the year, I've witnessed many, if not all, students find academic and social success here at school. Tonight, we are here to celebrate them and all they will bring to the Noble High School community over the next four years. This group of students is very active in our school community. In this class, we have academic scholars, musicians, artists, athletes, actors, actresses, and numerous positive community members. Throughout the school year, many of our students have displayed characteristics of positivity, respect, integrity, dedication, and excellence. It has been a pleasure getting to know these students this year, and I know they are destined for success as they enter into their high school years. I would now like to welcome Ms. Amy Mann, our ninth grade Maroon Team science teacher for our Welcome to Ninth Grade. Winslow's taller than me. Well, good evening. My name is Amy Mann, and probably at this point I've taught people out there because that's how long I've been here. Um, I'm the science teacher on the Maroon team, and on behalf of the ninth grade teachers on the Maroon team, gray and white team, I would like to congratulate all of you for completing your eighth grade year and welcome you down the hall to ninth grade. Um, one of my most favorite quotes by one of my most favorite people is, to change the world, start with one thing, no matter how small, the first step is hardest of all. In September, you will be taking your first steps into high school. You will have every door and window of opportunity open to you, and I hope that you make good choices and keep as many options for yourselves open as possible. Students, please listen closely. High school is full of transitions. Some are easy and some are not. Parents and guardians, please listen closely. High school is full of transitions. Some are easy transitions and some are not. High school is hard, ninth grade is hard. Things get difficult and more challenging, but trust me when I say that you can do it. I do not know you yet, but I know that you are prepared for all of the obstacles and challenges that you will be faced with in the next four years. And if you are not, or if you will stumble, we are here for you to help you. Four years go by quickly. You have the control to make these four years be enjoyable or not. You can choose to make good choices, learn, reflect, and grow, or you can choose to fight the process the entire way. For the past couple of years, I've had the opportunity to speak to eighth graders at the end of their year. When I first started, my daughter was entering kindergarten, and I gave her the same advice that I'm about to give to you. Play nice in the sandbox. If you have nothing nice to say, do not say anything at all. It seems simple, but this one piece of advice will take you far in life. Do not get involved in drama. Leave the drama for reality TV, not Noble High School. Try your best in school. It might not always be fun, but I promise, if you try your best and be involved with your learning, it will not seem so bad and you will be successful. One of my most favorite students graduated a couple of years ago and had a great quote during his junior year. He said, this school thing is not so hard if you just try. And he's right, just try. Work with us, not against us. Use your powers for good, not evil. 
I've worked at Noble High School for a long time, and every adult in this building wants you to be successful. We will work with you, we will support you, we will encourage you, but you have to be willing to work with us. We are not your enemy. In fact, in most cases, we will be your biggest and loudest cheerleaders, encouraging you every step of the way. In September, you have a clean slate. You have a chance to make a first impression. Spend some time thinking about your legacy. How do you want to be remembered? What do you want people to think of when they hear your name? What do you want your story to be? You do not have to be perfect, but like I tell my own children, you just need to be the best you can be. There's a famous college commencement speech given by a high-ranking Navy SEAL officer. In it, he says to start your day by making your bed. He states that this way you will have accomplished at least one task every day and your life will have purpose. I would like to challenge you beyond just making your bed. Do one nice thing, kind thing, every day. This will make the world a better place. It will make your heart happy. And again, to paraphrase my favorite person of mine, a small change, it will be a small change to change the world. For the parents and guardians out there, please remember that they are only in ninth grade. High school is hard for them. For many years, I have heard people say that they are in high school now and they can be on their own. And this cannot be further from the truth. If anything, right now, they need more structure. They need more guidance. They need more help making good choices. The ninth grade teachers want to be a team with you to help your student grow and be successful. Before I end, I would like to share some advice about ninth grade from some of this year's ninth graders. They say, try hard and pay attention. Participate in class. The more you get involved, the better the class is. Don't let work pile up until the end of the semester. It can get overwhelming and stressful. Do your work on time or before the due date and learn from your mistakes. I hope that you all have a wonderful summer. Go outside, enjoy the fresh air, relax, have fun. We are looking forward to getting to know all of you and work with you in September. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Mann. We will now move on to recognizing a few of our eighth grade students for academic achievements in their classes. Two awards will be given for each subject area, the Excellence Award and the Knight Award. The Excellence Award is awarded to students who show academic excellence throughout the school year in the subject area. They have consistently found success and have set the bar for their team in terms of academic success. The Knight Award is awarded to students who have faced adversity and still achieved success in the subject area. The school year has presented hurdles and these students have continued to work hard and be successful in the classroom. When your name is called, please come forward to receive your award. There will be three recipients for each award, so please hold your applause until all three have been announced. We will begin with English Language Arts. Our Excellence Awards for ELA go to Kendra Lorenzo, Michaela Dustin, and Braden Smith. Next, the Knight Award for ELA goes to Ryan Dyer, Autumn Whipple, and Jaden Borden. Now for math, the Excellence Awards go to Leah Randall, Travis Cole, and Jack Tara. The Knight Awards for math go to Jack Archie, Cam Town, and Casey Berry. Yeah. 
In science, the excellence awards go to Zach Brow, Curtis Savage, and Natalie Ayer Haynes. The Knight Awards in science go to Isabella Drumheller, Connor Treichman, and Kaylee Johnson. For social studies, the Excellence Awards go to Dylan Sylvain, Peyton Lamontang, and Ethan Byram. The Social Studies Night Awards go to Mackenzie Fallon, Leah Sock, and Olivia Ray. Yeah, Our final award of the evening is the State of Maine's Eighth Grade Citizenship Award. The Citizenship Award recognizes one eighth grade student from each main school who demonstrates the qualities of active participation in civic or community activities, good scholarship, and school involvement. Our eighth grade teachers and staff had nominated students based on these qualifications to determine the Citizenship Award for our school. The student being recognized takes their classes and academics seriously. There hasn't been an instance this year that teachers have noticed this student falling behind and if the student did miss something, they were steadfast in taking steps to ensure they didn't fall behind. The student volunteers at an animal shelter regularly and competes on our athletic fields as part of our outdoor track and field team. One of the student teachers said, kind, caring, thoughtful, respectful. These are all words that define this student and is 100% sincere. This student is genuine, cares about their education and being successful is not afraid to work at it if something does not come easily the first time around. Another, student spoke, another teacher spoke of this student and said, this student has a huge heart. This student is one of the most, if not the most respectful students on our team and even thanks the teachers at the end of every class. I'm proud to announce that the Noble High School recipient of the 2023 eighth grade State of Maine Citizenship Award is Kendra Lorenzo. I would now like to welcome our eighth grade choir to the stage, directed by our chorus teacher, Dr. Christian Giddings.
Thank you to our eighth grade choir. We will now proceed to the recognition part of our ceremony. All of these students behind me will be commencing on to high school in the fall. Before we begin recognizing our newest high school students, I'd like to take a moment to recognize one student from this class whose school year was shortened due to health complications. In late May, Cooper Brooks was diagnosed with a rare spinal injury. Cooper was admitted to Boston Children's Hospital for surgery. Since the surgery, Cooper has had no feeling in his legs or below his hips. Cooper wishes he could be here tonight, but is watching the ceremony via live stream. I'm going to ask that everyone look at the camera right here in the middle. It's going to pan around. And I think if you gave it a wave and a cheer for Cooper as he's watching, that'd be great. Cooper's sister, Kinsey, is here to accept Cooper's commencement certificate on his behalf. To start our recognition ceremony, I'd like to ask Kinsey to come up to stage and receive the certificate. And now we will begin with the remainder of the class of 2027. Yeah. Ryan Adams. Yeah. Lori Ann Albright. Yeah. Savannah Albright. Yeah. Luke Archambault. Jack Archie. Yeah. Jack Aubin. Yeah. Chloe Avance. Yeah. Delaney Baldwin. Caden yeah. Barnes. Miley Bate. <laughs> Eunice Ben Sheriff. <laughs> Reese Bentley. <laughs> Andrew Billing. Blake Blanchett. <laughs> Lily Blanchett. <laughs> Jameson Blankenship. <laughs> Mara Boyvin. <laughs> Cole Boucher. Jaden Bordon. Bradley Bowen. Aubrey Brennan. Chandler Brennan.
Zachary Brow. Edward Brown. Ella Brown. Emily Bruce. Luke Buttrick. Ethan Byram. Jude Byrne. Bristol Canton. Cheyenne Karen. Wyatt Chandler. Caden Coffin. Travis Cole. Jonathan Colgrove. Ava Connell. Jack Couillard. Trevor Curtis. Aiden Decato. <laughs> Haley Delisle. Cameron Dennis. Eric Dillon. Eva Dodge. Reagan Dodge. Isabella Drumheller. Summer Durham. Michaela Dustin. Addison Eaton. <laughs> Chloe Ebersall. <laughs> Isabella Engel. <laughs> Olivia Erickson. <laughs> Carson Evans. Naomi Eaves. Brianna Fadden. Isabella Falkenberg. Mackenzie Fallon. Aiden Fender. Owen Fish. <laughs> Cal Fitzgerald. <laughs> Levi Flint. <laughs> Olivia Flowers. <laughs> Wesley Forbes. Aiden Gagne. <laughs> Zoe Gothier. Autumn Gilly.
Oliver Gillis. Liam Gilpatrick. Saya Gorenz. Lily Greenlaw. Riley Guy. Lexi Hall. Jalen Harris. Marley Ray Hazel. Kenley Heward. Nicholas Henderson. Danny Jean Hussey. Tom Isaacs. Kaylee Johnson. Sawyer Johnson. Romero Quezon Cena. Hayden Kane. Colin Kearns. Bailey Kimball. Cheyenne Klein. Ariana Knight. Logan Katsanis. Peyton Lamontang. Brody Langella. Lucas Langley. Mark LaPointe. Chloe Lawton. Logan Lewis. Kendra Lorenzo. Spencer Morrow. Damian McElroy. Hunter Michaud. Logan Mignosa. Tristan Minuti. Caden Minig. Zachary Minig. Isabella Moody. Jessa Morin. Ethan Morrill. Ariana Mountain. Ava Morgenis. Ariana Mutagoma. Kylie Nadu.
Julia Naranjo. <laughs> Sawyer Oftendahl. <laughs> Owen Orlando. <laughs> Carter Olet. Vincent Pagliuca. Jace Pata. Trenton Peralt. Lily Piper. Dominic Rate. <laughs> Leah Randall. <laughs> Olivia Ray. <laughs> Aubrey Reynolds. Annalise Roberge. Caden <laughs> Robinson. <laughs> Riley Robinson. Abigail Rose. <laughs> Olivia Ray. <laughs> Curtis Savage. Kaylin Simpson. Braden Smith. Leah Sock. Julian Solsky. Alexander Stevens. <laughs> Lily Stringer. <laughs> Madeline Sturtevant. Dylan Sylvain. Jack Tara. Benjamin Tash. Olivia Taylor. Oren Tolman. Cam Town. Connor Treishman. Ryan Treishman. Yeah. 
Nicholas Trudell. Bryce Turner. Calum Vance. Emma Walker. Madison Welch. Autumn Whipple. Riley Willand. Avery Williams. Evan Wilson. Sierra Winslow. Benjamin Woodrum. Rain Wyatt. Trevor Yurakis. Ariella York. Ava Yao. And let's hear one final applause for your class of 2027. The students will now exit the auditorium. After the students exit, you can find your student in Town Square where there are cupcakes if you'd like to have one on your way out. Have a great summer.